From the CBS Bay Area studios, this is KPIX 5 News. It is 6 a.m. on this Sunday, February 17th. Good morning, I'm Devin Field. And I'm Melissa Kane. Well, did you feel it? A 3.7 magnitude earthquake shook the Bay Area this morning. The USGS reports the center was about five miles southwest of Yauntville in Napa County. It happened just before 2 a.m. and residents in Napa, Sonoma, and as far south as San Francisco awoke to the jolt. No damage reported so far. House in Marin County is now red tagged after it was damaged by a falling redwood tree. The tree in Woodacre went down Thursday during the heavy rains. Now, no one was home at the time. Elsewhere in Marin County, another redwood fell yesterday morning on Lucas Valley Road. Meanwhile, Marin County has declared a local state of emergency prompted by a destructive Sausalito mudslide and flooding on Highway 37. Westbound Highway 37 between Atherton Avenue and, and Highway 101 is completely closed, and Caltrans says it's not expected to reopen until Tuesday at the earliest. The Highway 37 flooding was caused by a nearby levee that failed during last week's heavy rain. Marin County has started working on a temporary dam along that levee break. The emergency declaration will allow the county to apply for state and federal aid. And as for that mudslide in Sausalito, the woman who was inside that duplex when it tumbled downhill and collapsed is reportedly making a temporary home in a hotel room. She's recovering from minor injuries. A Thursday slide in Sausalito Boulevard destroyed that home and another. Four other homes and five vehicles were also damaged. Now, flooding concerns have also closed down a Livermore Park until next month. Delval Regional Park will be closed through March 3rd. Officials say that they're keeping an eye on those high water levels at the park's lake. The campground and marina will also be closed. It is the ultimate good news, bad news situation for skiers, snowboarders, and sledders. There is plenty of new snow in the Tahoe area, but getting there is treacherous. Yesterday, the California Highway Patrol urged drivers not to travel on US 50 towards South Lake Tahoe. If they do, they should be prepared for hours of delays. The CHP says despite all of the new snow, a lot of drivers are still going there without chains. Now, over the past few days, US 50 has occasionally been closed for avalanche control. Some people decided not to complete that journey. We're stuck at um, chain control for like an hour and a half and then avalanche control for two hours. Decided to come back, turn around, stand, hang out here. This looks like the spot where everybody it is. Seems like it's fun. They're having a blast, so it's great. Here is the latest on the highway conditions. Tire chains are required on US 50 between Placerville and Myers. As for Interstate 80 towards Truckee, chains are required between Colfax and the Nevada state line. And the Fremont Fire Department says there's no threat to Tesla's electric car factory after a fire erupted on their property. Now, that fire began just last night before 8.30 p.m. in an exterior storage area at the Fremont Boulevard facility. A hazardous materials unit was sent to the scene because there was hazardous waste in the area. But the fire department says there was no threat to the public and the fire was contained within a couple of hours. Oakland teachers are just days away from a walkout. The union announced that they plan to go on strike on Thursday. Teachers are demanding a 12% pay raise over the next three years, smaller class sizes, and more student support. The union says it's a drastic step impacting 37,000 students, but necessary. To ensure that our students have lower class size, to have individualized instruction, and to ensure that our students have vital resources. Is it going to be disruptive here in the district? There's no question. It's not going to be business as usual if there's a strike. The district says it wants a union to return to the bargaining table. It says schools will remain open if there is a strike. The city says that it will open 15 rec centers for any students who don't want to cross the picket lines. AC Transit says if there is a strike, it will do its best to maintain service, though schedules may be impacted. The agency also says that buses will not cross picket lines and will only board where it's safe. And two officers are recovering from minor injuries after a pursuit involving Antioch Police and the California Highway Patrol. Now, officers yesterday pursued a stolen vehicle into the Caldecott Tunnel that connects Orinda and Oakland there. They say the suspect hit at least two cars before taking off on foot. For a witness, there's a gun pointing. The suspect is, has a gun pointing and out an x-ray. Is there a unit that can advise? Or an SUV with damage all around. Officer in the westbound side of the board chasing the suspect northbound through the vegetation. 
Uh, the tunnel was shut down for nearly two hours, and officers say they did find the suspect near Tunnel Road after he attempted two carjackings. He's now in custody. Police say the Antioch officers were injured when the suspect rammed their patrol cars, but officers found a loaded firearm and narcotics in that stolen car. And now to campaign 2020. More endorsements for Democratic contender Kamala Harris. Governor Gavin Newsom announced that he is backing his home state senator in the 2020 race. I've known her for decades, uh, not only as district attorney, where she did an extraordinary job with a very progressive record, but I watched her up close as lieutenant governor when she served as attorney general, and I have the privilege of working with her as a U.S. senator. I think the American people uh, could not do better. Senator Harris is busy campaigning on the other side of the country this weekend. She held a town hall style rally yesterday in Columbia, South Carolina. This is a moment in time that is requiring us all to individually and collectively look in a mirror and ask this question, who are we? And part of the answer to that question, I think we all know, is we are better than this. South Carolina is a key early primary state. Voters go there to the polls next February. And a final look at the extended forecast shows showers tapering off this afternoon and then sunshine for Monday and Tuesday. Next chance of showers is Thursday as of right now. You can see most of the rain has spread to our south and our east. We're getting a few lingering showers over the Santa Cruz Mountains and uh, from the southern portion of the South Bay. But for the most part, we are starting to dry out. Looking at lingering showers possible throughout the day. Uh, scattered showers, scattered downpours, but sunny by tomorrow and drying on out. All right. Well, thank you for joining us this morning.